Welcome back! In this video I will make a pepper mill to go with a bowl I made a few days ago. I will use this piece of olive wood and this mechanism I found in a local shop. After marking the centers, I place the olive on the lathe. I start turning with a roughing gouge to obtain a cylinder. Now I will shape it. I won't make a lot of carvings or details. Instead, I'll stick to a streamlined design. I'll cover the cracks with a little black epoxy and, once dry, I'll wipe off any leftover epoxy and send the wood on the lathe itself. I'll mark the lid and the other rebates. and I do the rest of the cutting by hand with a saw. As I said in my previous video, I bought this chuck which will allow me to turn bolts and many other things with ease. Also, I've got hold of this adapter, which I had a metal worker adapt to the shaft of my lathe. The jaws can hold objects by expanding or contracting. In this case, the jaws contract around the pepper mill to hold it. I've also machined this piece of threaded rod that will allow me to use this drill chuck from an old broken drill I had lying around in my workshop. With this, I can drill holes with a lathe. Using this bit, I'll make the first rebate to place the pepper mill's lid. Everything seems to be working fine. I change the bit and start carving out the interior slowly, occasionally taking out the sawdust from inside. I turn it around and continue working on the other side. Now it's time to finish the lid. I sand all the straight surfaces with a disc sander and attach this piece allowing us to twist the mill. Now all that's left is to sand it and apply a little oil. I 
I finish assembling the mill, add a little black pepper and check if it works. Turning the knob on the top, I can adjust how finely the pepper is ground. 